Feds have arrested Karen Hote of Billerica. Her car is right there in that Sally Port behind me, behind that garage with the number, or with that door, garage door with the number two on it. Uh, a tip from a tow truck driver with a keen eye led to her arrest. And tonight we're hearing from the victim's husband. She's tough, strong. She's taking it better than I am. Michael Peters says his wife of 31 years, Kathy, remains hospitalized tonight, her spirit intact despite a long recovery ahead. She had two broken legs, some bleeding, and tomorrow morning they're going to have surgery to repair her legs. Kathy Peters was taking her morning walk with a neighbor and his dog on the sidewalk along Nickel Street when a car crossed the yellow line, jumped the curb, and struck her from behind. Late this evening, police brought in the silver Hyundai Elantra they were looking for, and the alleged driver, 52-year-old Karen Hote, was booked, then left by ambulance. Police say she, too, suffered injuries in the hit and run. She was at home when we were able to locate her. Witnesses say the impact tossed the victim up onto the hood of the Elantra. She was then thrown from the car, her body slamming into a mailbox. It would have been this side that she would have hit and then snap the pole. Police put out pictures of the car earlier this evening. It was an observant tow truck driver who tipped off police. He observed the vehicle parked in the um, driveway. It was in close proximity to the crash scene. We responded and we were able to identify uh, the vehicle. So again, recapping that breaking news at this hour, Karen Hote of Bill Ricca has been arrested uh, for the hit and run of Kathy Peters of Wilmington. Uh, Peters will undergo surgery at Tufts tomorrow morning. Her husband is tonight thanking this community for their support and their determination to track down the driver in this hit and run.